Thank you, Marco. You, you really put a lot of pressure on me to, to answer this question, but uh, I, I hope that my compilation on the topic will open this, this idea what we are really able to export. But, but my presentation really focuses on, on the really big and important initiatives on the border sector that are ongoing. And, and basically, that starts from, from this picture. I showed this picture already last year, and this hopefully gives a response or, or, or reply to the question that what do we have to export? And, and if we go through these balloons or elements that, that are required to, to have sustainable water and sanitation services, we, we can very clearly see that if we, if we start from, from research, we are among the three, top three. Can we be modest? Let's, let's try to say that we are definitely top ten players in this one. And we can go through all these balloons and say that, okay, we are really good at this. But basically, when we start to go these balloons or elements through the same way as our, our competitors globally are, are going through them, we can say with that kind of blue-white glasses on, we can say that we are number one globally in each one of these balloons or elements. So that is really our strength, that we, we have a holistic view on many, many things in water sector. And I think that the previous presentation already showed that what we can do. We can take a river, we can, we can manage the whole river if we want it, but, but of course it really clearly shows that, that we need the funding for that. But let's, let's not go into that. But if we think about these, these uh, elements uh, for the sustainable water and sanitation services, they have homes. They, they all go to different corners of, of this triangle. Some of that knowledge goes to private sector, some goes to governance, some, some goes to R&D and innovation and educational institutions. So now this turning this into growth, how, how can we do it? And, and now, now when we go to the actions we have at the moment we have actions focusing on, on the private sector and, and then we have actions focusing on, on the R&D and education and governance side. So, so these are the major actions that we have or the initiatives to support the exports of Finnish water know-how. And, and these red balloons, the private sector one, that is uh, something that will be happening under the Ministry of Employment and Economy. So, so that is called Vesialan Kasvuelma, Water Sector Growth Program. The name of the program can still vary, but basically that is, that is the frame. So that is really aimed for the private sector companies and, and concrete actions linking the Finnish private sector with real business opportunities and, and partners globally. And, and the status of that is that we will have the first steering group meeting with, uh, uh, with the companies in next month. So that is progressing. And that is something that will be done together with, uh, with FinPro and, and Finnish Water Forum. So when we go to this other red balloon, that is then the water export program. And, and that is really aiming uh, for, for, or actually it's the Ministry of uh, Agriculture and Forestry that, that uh, is, is leading this. And, and the idea is to link these lower corners of the triangle to support the private sector growth. So, so we have two initiatives, both aiming at in increasing the exports and having the water sector grow in Finland. So, Finnish Water Forum is, is, is all, all these corners cover our members. So, so we are one of the logical partners to be in, involved in this and, and making sure that these both in it initiatives are going the same direction and, and not overlapping, but, but really supporting each other. And, and this triangle gives us a really good opportunity also also to always meet with the customer's needs. So, so if we have, on the coffee break, we were talking about an, uh, 
in Iran there was a case, hand up, hand up, yes, a case about lake restoration. So, so we know that in the Finnish Environmental Institute we have knowledge that can be the partner for the local government or the national government to support implementation of, of this project plan and, and having the monitoring and, uh, and also having, having the, the modeling of the water resource. But that, that could be the core, so that is something that is one of these sharpest edges. So, so we can go Suke forward, but Suke then has the opportunity to bring the other corners with them. If that is the common understanding that this is how we want to go forward. But now we have these initiatives supporting this ideology and, and that is of course how to do this. So the actions are not, not yet decided. So, so these points that I have here are basically from uh, from the discussions we, we, with the representative ministries and, and parties, but also uh, from the preparatory workshops. So, we should think big. And, and this, is, this could be the Iranian case. So, we should not be just exporting the plan to restore the lake. Why, why couldn't we just bring more? Let's, let's really bring our friends also in. Not to ju sell just technology or solution, but bring others also in. And, and that way create really spin-off projects. Then, then we should do differently. We, we have the Finnish way of doing things, but, but we could do a bit differently. And, and here is one, one case example from the Ministry of Social Affairs and Health. They are really world leading in water safety planning tools. So, so their tool is now, now the spearhead to, to take Finnish companies globally. And, and we have taken the first step in Vietnam. So Vietnam wants to have the Finnish approach in water safety planning. So, so that, is, that is going forward. Then of course we need a strong home market. Uh, but should it be done through more strict legislation? Should we have more reference or pilot areas so that we can practice here, so that we are a lot stronger. And, and we have the case of Switzerland where they have very stri uh, strict legislation on, on the nutrient recycling, so could that be also the Finnish way of going forward. Then, then using our public assets, I don't know if an agreement is an asset, but uh, let's try to turn it that way. Uh, we, we should be using these agreements that we have between the nations and, and between organizations as, as uh, selling points. And that's what we are, we are doing with the Ministry of Agriculture and Forestry in China. We are really trying to open this MOU to, to business so that that could be the spearhead to, to open the business. Then we are far too modest. Let's try to use the superlatives. We, we can really proudly say that we are number one in water. And, and nobody comes and says that, no, you are not. They might say that we are also number one. So let's be also the other number one in, in water. Then, then we really should use our networks. Uh, we have a re really good example by the Finnish Meteorological Institute that has really good networks globally. They, they are they are organization who is really appreciated in, in, uh, in projects globally. So, so they have very close, almost like a symbiosis with, with the company in Vaisala. And, and they can very easily say that Vaisala is number one in, in these instruments and solutions. So let's bring them in. Let's do it together. Let's take the strongest one in the lead. We have one example by Finnish Water Forum as a wrapping paper, wrapping our org member organizations into one package. And, and that way being able to sell a training to, to Chinese that none of these organizations could have done individually. So, so we needed somebody to act, act as a wrapping paper in this. So, so please use us or use other institutions and our organizations as, as the strongest then definitely we need this coordination and, and we are very happy to, to support successful implementation of, of these both two projects. 
But then we also need the instruments to enable this work. Now we have the uh, concessional credit, basically we have it back. So now it's called uh, public, invest, uh, public Sector Investment Facility, PIF. So, so that is a tool where we, we are able to compete head-to-head -head with other, other countries and other companies globally in the de developing markets, uh, having our fair share of, of the public sector investments in, in the water, water sector. But then also, this is really, really important, and that's the my point. If we really want to have private sector growth, then we should be doing the things that the private sector wants and, and what they need. So if we are not doing the actions that the private sector is, is requiring and needing, we, we will very quickly have absence of the private sector. So, so their voice is really important. They are not going to hit their head against the wall many times. When they see that this works, they will be with us. If they see that this doesn't lead to anywhere, they will skip it. So this must my fast forward on the national initiatives.